Hello all, Caitlin here, and, uh, oh my god, this is my first time, uh, recording with this webcam on this computer, and that is a huge, um, thing that shows the time. Ugh. Um, I realized that I haven't done a vlog in ages, and I wanted to, uh, get back in the habit of vlogging. I tried to do so uh, with my iPhone, but then um, I forgot that it is having some storage issues. It has, like, duplicates of music that I have to get rid of somehow. blah de blah de blah and yak 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 Um, as you may notice from... My right hand is better to demonstrate. Uh, as you may notice from the background I'm recording in an entirely different place. Um, yes, I have moved uh, out of that horrible, horrible group home. Um, and uh, speaking of moving and things like that, first off, I want to send a shout out to uh, the Blind Mental Health mailing list and uh, the YouTube channel Support Circle for All. Sam, uh, I just subscribed to her recently, and um, also uh, many of us, Carol Ann, um, they've been inspiring me to get back into YouTube vlogging, and and they've also been inspiring me that it ain't no shame to vlog in your PJs. Uh, so. Uh, as I was explaining this, I feel like making multiple videos today, and this will be, like, uh, the first one, and I want to talk about housing situations, because, uh, when I started my channel, I was going to do videos at my group home to pass the time away, there were lots of terrible experiences, uh, which I will not go into, I mean, it was just very depressing, and I was malnutritioned, and all kinds of stuff, so, um, and they wouldn't even allow me to sing, can you imagine that? <gasps> oh my god. Uh, but no, <laughs> I'm, uh, I've been away from there for over a year now. I moved out in January 2014, and have been living here in this studio apartment, uh, the door you see behind me is the door to the bathroom, and this room that I'm recording in is the only other room that there is, and that little, that little doodauber back there, that little recess area is, uh, the closet there. <laughs> Vanna White, I am not. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'd like to buy a vowel. <laughs> uh, oh, I have to buy my vowels over there. Okay. Um. Anyway, let me get back on topic. <laughs> I'm always doing that. I'm always getting distracted. <clears throat> uh, and I was all like, "Whoa!" about the time thing, real quick, because in the past, when I've recorded with other video software or recorded on my phone, I've had to do a great big old one of these. <laughs> squint like this and go, okay, where's the time, where's the time, where's the time? But now it's like, you know, right up there in the left-hand corner, and um, I got plenty of time left. So, <clears throat> uh, yes, housing situations. I moved out of the Sacramento group home in uh, mid-January of 2014, because I desperately needed to get out of that situation, and I had let a few of my small town uh, Grass Valley friends, that were friends of my family, friends of my dad, um, I let them know, I said, look, I really need to get out of this group home, and I know it's hard to find a place, you know, in Grass Valley that's affordable, but even if it's like a room for rent, I mean, I'll take anything, you know, well, I didn't say I'll take anything, no, I, I was, you know, saying that I was going to take anything so long as it was uh, near the bus, and, you know, so long as I could walk to a bus stop, and all this kind of stuff. Well, 
<clears throat> apparently near the bus to a sighted person isn't the same as near the bus to a disabled or blind person. Because, um, you know, yes, there is a bus stop within walking distance to me, but it's for the on-demand system, which is absolutely terrible. Um, because they're not on-demand. It's not like I can call up and say, hey, I need a bus. It's more of they make certain stops and uh, at certain times and you have to call an hour ahead. As in, like, if I want to go somewhere early at, you know, 7 o'clock in the morning, I have to get up at 6 and call them. So that's very frustrating. And I live two miles away from uh, the nearest bus stop that's not on-demand. And I also live two miles away from um, any decent area with sidewalk. So I, when I walk to the convenience store, I have to walk in the bike lane or walk in the dirt to make sure that the, the cars don't curse mush me. Um, so that's one of the disadvantages of living here. The other disadvantage, um, you might be able to see it if I get my big buxom shoulders out of the way. Uh, let me go off camera for a sec. Oh yeah, you can kind of see, and if I move my webcam extra carefully, yes, that, oops, that, right there, is my kitchen. A mini fridge, a coffee maker, a microwave, and... You probably can't see, but there's a toaster oven, and, whoa, sorry for the distraction. <laughs> um, yes, those always get in the way. Um, so anyway, um, <clears throat> yeah, so I really, and the only sink is, uh, in the bathroom sink. I don't have a kitchen sink. I don't have a kitchen anything. Just all of that stuff. So, um, my nutrition, although better than it was at the root home, uh, is, has not been so much better. Um, and I really need to move out and find a place with a kitchen. And excuse me, because I really need to itch my nose. Ah. Uh, anyway. <clears throat> you know, I'm just finding, I mean, yeah, last year I was a little bit more gung-ho to get used to the buses and go grocery shopping and things like that, but um, when I would go grocery shopping, it would be just a very, very, very stressful ordeal, and believe me, I've got the digital recordings to prove it. Mind you, it was before I got on my medication, but still, oh, and I really, uh, have I been rambling on that long? Mm. <laughs> but, yes, so, since I've already taken up half the video about all that part, um, we can move on to attempts that I've tried to find better housing. Last year, I, uh, through our local independent living center, I got on some of the low-income waiting lists, uh, but the problem with being in a small town is everybody does things through snail mail, which I find it hard to sort through and hard to read, and, you know, people have said, oh, why don't you get someone to help you, or, you know, why don't you bring it into our office, but there again lies the transportation problems. And, um, so, yeah, I tried applying for, like, six or seven different low-income apartments, and they all mailed me back with the same load of shit that says, well, if you don't update, like, every five seconds to make sure that you're at the same address where you're waiting, then we're not going to have you on our waiting list. Uh, and, um, so those didn't go so well. And I've been looking on local Facebook pages to see if anyone's offered rooms for rent, and... The first room for rent that I saw offered was back in December, and they said, oh, it'll be available in January. <clears throat> so then I talked to the person, I messaged them over Facebook, and I gave the whole litany. I said, look, I'm legally blind, I need to be near the buses, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. 
And she says, okay, well, there's a lot of people interested um, in the rooms for rent, and I have a couple rooms uh, for rent in my house. And, yeah, we're going to all have a public meeting this Sunday, or, like, you know, whatever Sunday it was, at the bowling alley in town. Now, there's only two ways that I could go to the bowling alley in town on a Sunday, either know somebody reliable enough to give me a ride, which I have a few friends with cars, but they're very busy with their work and they're not always reliable, or take a $20 taxi to get into town and a $20 taxi back, which I did the other day. I spent $40 on a taxi because no one was able to drive me uh, to another place that I was looking for after I let that other bitch go, (laughs) who didn't care for my accommodations. Um, there was a place that was right across the street from a lot of, uh, you know, well-known restaurants and, uh, near a lot of the shopping centers, and she's advertising, making a big deal about this little granny unit apartment that she had, and she says, oh, I'm having an open house, so I make the effort, spend the $40 on a cab to get there and back, and I get there, I take a look at the house, I say, oh my god, This has a kitchen, this has a private bedroom, this is, like, perfect. It's got, like, three rooms, and it's a cute little place, and, or, well, four rooms, well, the kitchen, bedroom, bathroom, no, three rooms, because there's not really a living room. Ah, there is, like, a little storage area, but it had so much perfect stuff, and she says to me at the end of everything, oh, by the way, you're probably not gonna be likely to get it, because, you know, I have this friend of mine, and we want to, you know, I'm I'm thinking that he's going to get it, and we're going to live together, and, you know, because his son is friends with my son, and la 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 la, and that just made me feel wonderful, so I'm really feeling isolated and really feeling the housing struggle, especially with medical issues uh, coming up, like my diabetes and my high blood pressure, where I need to get better nutrition, which means that um, I need to get a kitchen. And, I mean, I with all the senior accommodations I have here, I'm almost tempted to ask about one of those assisted living places. Um, but then that might be just as bad as the group home I was in. And I don't even know if I wanted to move out of the Grass Valley area. Um, where the hell I would move to? Would I move to Sacramento? Would I move to Southern California and Orange County, where I have a few friends? Um, would I move out of state somewhere? I have some uh, friends in New York. I mean, I don't know. And it's just, you know, that's one of the things that's been stressing me out lately is this whole housing issue. And, uh, so, if anybody that watches my YouTube videos, uh, or listens to them, what have you, you know, from the email list, or from my Facebook, or from my general friends network, if you have any ideas on how the hell I can get the fuck out of here and get to a place that actually has a kitchen, um, that's affordable, that's near buses, it's, oh, god, anything and anywhere please let me know, uh, because I needed to clear the air about this housing shit, and I needed to get it out there that I'm stuck, and, uh, I won't be, um, uploading other vlogs on other topics later, and, yes, so I will see you, uh, next time around.